So we continue round four of our Org Territory Control game, Skunkopoly, and for Task Force Echo, this was to be a very busy month, with three fights to conclude. They were to fight Delta for control of Kudre Or on Daymar, and on Selen they had plans to push Chavo out of NT-999XV. But arguably the most difficult fight for them this month would be defending Terra Mills, where both Chavo and Foxtrot were heading in to attack, in the first ever three-way battle of Skunkopoly. The usual fight rules would apply, no respawns, fight lasts one hour, and the winner is the task force with the most players on foot and conscious inside the victory zone, a 750 meter radius around the objective. Terra Mills is an inhospitable collection of ridges, craters and open plains, and with double the pressure heading their way, sure to be a difficult fight for task force Echo. But as the day arrived, Task Force Commander Dragonora was having his members move equipment and vehicles to Terra Mills in preparation for the defence. One advantage Echo would have as the defenders is time to set up in positions that they had chosen. Uh, can you bring us down the hill slightly, like meters? Yes, sir. Thank you. As time was drawing ever nearer to the invasion, last minute checks were underway. It's so okay. about three kilometers away from where we are. And that's that mountain over there, right? If you come yeah. Over to where I'm, at, I'm pointing my sniper at it. Soon, though, the battle would begin. But they just called the start. They just called the start, so be watching. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, we're wait, starting? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. We have the green light. Yeah, Charlie says they're coming in on high. So they might come from straight above. I see plumes. Uh, uh, Age of Redeemer, shit. And some low flying ships identified. Start missling, start, start being annoying. Northwest. Start being annoying. Missile right yep, now, yep. missile right now. We've got a Redeemer and a C2. Looks like C2's trying to come in for a landing. Carolina Dalton's probably in. doing a drop. Yeah, it's coming in low. It's landing. Fox fire on Carolina Dalton's firing. Uh, there's a ship directly above us to the south. Yep. The first ballista missile had been fired at what was now known to be Charvo, who were attempting to land nearby. Yep, I'm going. I'm They're kind of high up. I can't tell what they are. C2 is bugging off northwest. They're landing, so that's what we're doing. To watch that in too, because if they if they are deploying troops, we need to know. Confirm vehicles inside that C2. That's a dropship. Is that yeah. the yeah. C2 is going they're in for a landing. Yep, they're they're, they're, they're trying they're to get low. low. They're low. They're super low. That's northwest. C2 is going in for landing far northwest. Echo Ballista, we're determined to prevent the landing now. That's it's up. North. Oh, Ooh. nice. Right. Um, C2 is flying off north. Yep, they're those directly above there. you. They're directly above you. North 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 is under fire. fire. They're getting farther. Okay. They're moving back west. Yeah, they got Kintala. You have a better. Damn. That was, oh, that was their missile. It's weird. Is there any way for you to get missiles as for that C2 tries to land right in front of Thunderlord? So far, the heavy AA defense seems to be working, and raccoons like Haku were staying vigilant for signs of the other attacker, Foxtrot. Oh shit. Firing a Carolina dog? But more Hercules would soon occupy the skies. Yep, that's another C2. Yep, they're in the direction. The ballista hits look punishing, but the C2 remains in the air. Right there, right there. Flying southwest. They don't have Got their. They don't have their. Another C2 coming in. Yep, see so him. Yeah, two C2s, two C2s. Hey, get off, man. They're fighting each I know, I know. Two of my same tits on the other one. But for Commander T3, a much more direct threat was about to appear. Are we still moving? Redeemer's engaging, oh, Redeemer's engaging. Slowly. Do we try to help? Crimson? We can't kill that thing. Hit it with four oh, missiles? It, it, it's, it's going down, it's going down. Hit it with four missiles. Nice, 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 nice. Around the T3 had taken down the Chava Redeemer, but in all this confusion, it was possible that ground troops had been landed. Watch that. We've got another one on us, another one on us. Three more missiles yeah, ready. Yeah. Um, 
Text us about bail, 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 bail. Yep, yeah, yep. Gotta go, gotta go. Missiles, another one. They hit two. Southern ballistas dry, southern ballistas dry. The ballista was dry on missiles and now under attack. The only sensible move was to bail. It's Steve, I'm being engaged by a C2 and a clear, uh, Gladius. I'm clear. Move to the right. box. Get out there then. Yep, already done. M2 is engaging. They're too. bailing out if they, they have bailed out of that brigade. Yep. The door is open. You see anything? It made us from North Ballista Crew. A2 That's or M2? M2. Yep. It's like an M2. M2. That's an M2. At this point, all Echo Ballista had expended their missiles. Echo were ready to stage their ground defense, though. We've got three troops on the ground. A2 looking for you, Render. Oh, yeah, I see them. You we see have them? three ground troops uh, 500 meters from T3's position approaching from the south. Your tail is. Comms, comms, comms. There are yeah, ground troops on T3's position. We can't do anything about it, but I want you to know that there are ground troops on the ground right now. So maneuvering would need to begin to engage the enemy ground troops in the area. Ali directly ahead of me, is about 700 meters. T3's team had eyes on Chava raccoons, but enemy ships were still overhead. There are at least two C2s in a warlock. Oh, they're, they're shooting at you, they see you. Possibly also gladius. No, they're shooting at you. Mm, they're, no, they're very. They're shooting at you, yeah. I just watched them. Yes. There are at least two C2s in a warlock that I can see in the air, possibly also gladius. Oh yeah, they're trying to spot us. Pandalord's team were too far out to assist, but T3 would do what he could to protect the Echo members on the ground. Yeah, he is. He's, he's hurting already. I hear it. Come, come, come. Vehicle, vehicle next to us. Dolly on our side. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. STB, below us. Now Pandalord's team had contact of their own. Ballista? Yeah, that is. Any ballista on site. Any ballista on site. I okay. see him there. Yeah, that's 1500 meters. I see two of them. Haku was still flanking wide, checking the approach to the AO, but Pandalod was about to engage a Chavo Ballista. But I need it to commit to going over. I'm behind it's, this rock. It's Alright, railgunning. Yep, there's. Yep. Alright. Uh, it's it's not looking at you. Fire, 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 fire. Uh, no, it, it moved out. Didn't kill. No kill. The ballista had been destroyed, but hostiles were closing in. On, on us, on us, on us! Oh, right, on us, on us, on us. Contact, contact. One down. Yep. Healing. Yep. One down. He's dead. Meanwhile, T3's team were tracking hostiles of their own. I see him, I see him, I see him. Straight ahead of us. Where are you? Uh, is he up? You uh, see one, I see one up. One up. They're reviving. They're reviving. I see him. I see him. Uh, I'm not arranged to engage. We have to keep them moving closer. Oh. See if you can get a sniper. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. They did get a revive. So T3 snipers are taking down some of the hostiles, but for Pundalord's team, the opposite situation was unfolding, with snipers making attempts on Echo members. When I was sniped, it was from a different person, and it was from your direction. I'm gonna stay up here. We have to use the STV to get up there. I can't get up. Okay. Yeah, just go back to the STV. Yeah, good. As Haku relocated, enemy air was homing in again. Shit, C2 above us, C2 above us. Get cover, get cover. Everybody hit the deck, get to a rock. Yep. Get away from the bodies. Yep. Party markers can remain on bodies for some time on occasion, and so making distance is a smart move. Uh, it's right on. It's right on Steve and Random. Yeah, they're he's shooting at me. Yeah, they got me. I'm putting some railgun fire on them. Random's down. Oh yeah, you were in the vehicle. That's what I got you. No, I was right next to it because they turned and saw me because the goddamn things lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, T3, careful with shooting. They're, they're going to be tracking that probably. Yeah, we're just going to this. If they turn around, we're going to stop. It's just chipping away. Mm -hmm. When the C2 turned to face them, the team would stop firing to avoid being detected, but the shots do add up, especially with multiple railgunners engaging. Copy that. We'll move to engage or something. Alright, um... Uh, they've got let's... targets... So, so in, yes, we... They've got targets in the northeast. Echo had taken a casualty in the C2 attack and luckily were able to revive them. 
cover. <clears throat> yep, I'm coming. Yep. Oh, shit. It's spicy. T3, if you guys can hit that uh, M2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Start rolling, you bastard. He's getting real close. Yeah, we're laying into it. Thunderloads team and Haku were maneuvering to engage the hostile snipers, while T3 and his team would continue to engage the C2. Yeah, he's up. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's got eyes on you now, Red. And in this train, it can be easy to slip and fall. Understand. Putting... But be incredibly shit, shit, shit. careful. Don't follow me down. Don't follow me down. We have 25 minutes and 15 seconds. Echo's limited air support was no good in a sky full of Hercules, so we'd be landing to join the fight on the ground. Uh, uh, back overhead. I'm gonna start laying into the road. Okay, I see them. Where, yeah, what direction? I see this corp. We're shooting at something. <laughs> start firing on that one. Which one? Uh, the one firing the ballistics. Nice. How is this person not dead? He's taken about... I've hit him about 20 times at least. I've hit him twice? Uh, somebody just... Okay, that's Carolina A third time? Hey, um, up, straight ahead. There you go, can you see it? Okay, good. Um, check the valley for others, because I can't see any of them probably in your valley. Just blew up. Something else just blew up very close to us. And the railgun hits would eventually pay off. Yeah, oh, he's gone. Nice, nice, nice. The aggressive C2 had been eliminated, and this would free up many of Echo's raccoons to focus on enemy snipers still active in the AO. Dragon, contact behind yeah, you, contact behind you. 700 meters uh, from my position. No, There's someone running across visual. the field. Yep, visual, visual, visual. Yeah. Oh, I saw shots fired. Look for my tracers. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. There was still a small echo presence in the skies above, but for a battle with three task forces, very little visible engagement. Uh, I'm shooting at the guy down. There's a guy right ahead of me. He's There's two of them. Uh, hit. Hit one. I don't know if they're knocked. Uh, they're resing, resing, they're resing. resing. Res, 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 res. Reloading. Getting, getting double kill. Double kill not secured. They're incredibly hurt though. Yep, they're going over that ridge. Do you want to push? Do you want to push? No, 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 no. Do not push. And T3 wanted to move in and support. Well, what direction? Which direction? Give us east, north, south, west, anything. Uh, east of Punda North Division. East of Punda, 700 meters. East, copy, moving. From us, 900 meters. He's just running across. Oh, it said east, not west, so they're, they're toward the 1,300 of us. I'm gonna move towards them, see if I can engage. Uh, Red, move with me. I popped three shots in him, he's definitely dead. Uh, visual, visual. Uh, our two, two o'clock, two o'clock. As they moved, they would catch sight of some fighting in the skies above. Dragon, where are they in relation to you? We're trying to find them so we can support, but we're not really sure on the position. Dude, I really wish these fighters were a little lower yeah, so we could get shots it. on them. Uh, there's three! There's three Should at our two! There's three at our two! Three at our two! And in this kind of battle, it can be easy to mistake one Hercules for another. On A2, it's a damn okay, M2. M2 sorry. Yeah. Stop saying A2, you give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Every time I hear A2, I'm like, fuck! They're on the north right point of the Alamo. Every time he says that, I think, well, there goes all my shit. As they covered the 1300 meters of ground between the two teams, they would encounter an enemy ballista. They're basically right below okay. right now. Okay. Just just Hit it. Look at me, it should be in between. Hit it. There it went. Nice, no, good shit. Ballista down, ballista down. There were 11 minutes left in the fight, and it was time for Echo to begin consolidating inside the victory zone, but the way would not be clear. One's rezzing. No, up, 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 up. One down, one down, one down. That, you guys, you guys can handle that. Grim, we gotta find these. Another one below. They're down. Yep. They're down, they're down. Got they're down. Yeah. 
for Pandalord's team, there was a greater distance to cover, and given the recent sniper engagements, they would also need to ensure they were not creating an opening for hostiles that had fled during the sniper battle. Make sure there are no contacts following us. Because if they do, they're going to take us out. The other task forces were also aware of the time pressure, and an M2 was landing at the objective. But Haku was already covering it. Stupid Haku, you guys want reinforcements back there? Yeah. It looks like there's yeah. four of them. I'm moving. That M2 is What's the time? Towards us. 9.20 Enemy raccoons were at the objective and the M2 was making another approach to the ground um, I'm firing five. at the M2 Get the M2 robot Nice It's good. coming to land, it's coming to land 9% hydration Oh, Rogan. Rogan fire had taken down Echo Pilot Nash Vegas, but T3 was confident he could find the raccoon. I think they're about 300 meters ahead of us. I hit one, I hit one. Oh, it's grim between Punder and I. Between us, between us. There's one in the middle. Scene, there's two on the rocks, two on the rocks. Shooting in the back. Yep, yep I see him, I see him. Hit. One's down. Soon. Coming out the front of the AC. There's, no, there's oh, another one there. There's two on that rock. Coming out, running out the front of the AC. I don't have eyes down. on the other. Down. 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 One down. of them is down. Yep. Nice. Down, nice. Down, 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 down. So with Echo Raccoons now holding the crater walls around the objective, all they had to do was hold on a few more minutes and the battle would be over. But at this stage of the fight, all task forces were desperately trying to get into the victory zone. Double tap. Cluster of rocks out the front of the entry. Assume, assume, assume. Trying to get a shot. They're both double tap. They're both double tap. Move on. All right, I got right. him down behind the rocks. We, we still. Oh wait, did you get him? Did you get him? All right, Northern Raccoons. I got him. Keep, keep, keep calm. Keep calm. I didn't even get. Two hundred more meters. Two hundred more meters. I gave five. And in this kind of confusion, it can be easy to have someone sneak up on your flank. Hey, oh, me. no, he's on this. He's on me in red. T3 had spotted an enemy raccoon on this very ridge, and the enemy M2 was about to be no more. Into his down. Two. Shots on him. Hit. They're down. They're down. They're down. They're down. I'm out. Thunder. Uh, Crimson, were you firing off? Yeah, I'll just be yeah. Crimson. Yeah. Crimson, directly below us at the base of the mouse. Check. Everyone, make sure you're inside the objective. Keep an Haku. Keep an eye on the far east side. I want to make sure that no one's clinging onto the outside of the AO. Rip. Just uh, stay alive. I see him, I see him, see him, on the ridge, they're on the ridge. We can see him. Shot. They're on the top. Double hit, double hit, and it has to reload. 45 seconds. Come on. Hit, he's down, he's down. Hope you just get covered, just stay alive, stay alive. Give us a 10 second count. They just called time, so our time. Yeah, time, 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 time. Alright, index, stop, stop firing, stop firing. <laughs> yep, no more shooting. Whoa. Uh, do we want to skunk works VC1? The debrief. Alright, excellent work everyone, excellent work. I'm giving you all- I, I'm assuming we're winning, I don't know, uh, but we have 12 people in AL. The battle was over with an echo victory, and during the debrief, details would emerge over who was fighting who at various points in the fight. Fox, how many Ooh, did you what guys is have your in the we had two. We had a lot of incap. How you guys knew where we were coming from, that, that's beyond me, but you guys took us, a lot of us out on the ground. Nice. Ah, so that was Foxtrot sprinting across the field. Ah. All in all, round four had been a success for Echo. They had failed to take NT-999XV from Chavo, but had scored another victory at Kudre Or. The fight was interrupted by a 30k server crash, but in keeping with the rules, Task Force Commanders Dragonora and Remline reached an agreement between them that it was an Echo victory. This meant that at the end of round four, Task Force Echo now held first place, and going into the final round, they also enjoyed the highest point income of any team. Things could still take a turn though, and round five would soon begin.
again. We'll be back with more battles for the Moons of Crusader very soon. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. Without these very generous people, none of the videos on the channel would be possible. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Noodles and Chief USN Old Salt, who both recently became backers of the channel over on Patreon. Thank you both for your very generous support. It is hugely appreciated and goes a long way towards keeping this channel going. For anyone new to Star Citizen, if you use the referral code in the description of the video, you can gain an extra 5,000 credits when you sign up for a new account. And we will be back with more from Skunkopoly very soon.